when you see church history and you see people that are going to be martyred and they're going to die for their faith and they're going whether to be crucified and you, and you hear some people they go singing and they go worshiping God uh, and then you go and you look at Jesus when he's in Gethsemane and he's going to be crucified he's going to be killed but he's like sweating blood and yeah. he's like in such agony he's to the point of death do you believe that this has to do with the punishment that was going to be upon Christ? Because the people, their servants, they're going to be crucified. Yeah. And they're like, you know, but their master, the king of kings, is going to the cross. And yet he's like, the point of death. Do you think that this is related to the punishment that's going to take on the cross? I'm not sure. It may be. We should not minimize the agony of Jesus' suffering compared to later martyrs. Because after all, these later martyrs had the example of Jesus to follow. It was because they followed a crucified Savior that they could face burning at the stake or horrible torture with bravery. Now, if Jesus did think of himself as the servant of the Lord of Isaiah 52, 53, then he thought of himself as a sin bearer. He was going to bear the sins of the people and at the Last Supper, he seems to express this idea. And so it could well be that the uh, terror of the cross lay not simply in physical crucifixion, but also in becoming the sin bearer, having the wrath of Yahweh poured out upon him for the sins of the people.